So before I uh, before I bring up our, our speaker today, um, uh, Robert Mano will be taking over our, our football club. Um, our, our president of our football club has been involved in derby football for about five decades, and I just want to take a quick moment to uh, acknowledge Bill Pucci in the back of the room, uh, who's retiring. <laughs> Uh, and we appreciate all the work he's done over the years and all the athletes he's helped to uh, impact uh, here at Derby High School. Um, so uh, our speaker today, our alumni speaker today, is a class of, is a member of the graduating class of 1984. Uh, he is a football um, football and uh, wrestling um, athlete here. Uh, he'll be the new president of our of our football club moving forward after this season. Uh, he is a former sports agent and uh, an attorney, and he's also a, an assistant professor at St. John's, um, Mr. Rob Romano. Hello? Alright, so, um, this little speech I'm going to do is not for you guys, alright? So Kenny, just, you know, you could... Bow wow, George, bow wow, it's all, it's all good. This is for the athletes. All right, this is for you guys. And when I say athletes, I mean football players and the cheerleaders, because you're all athletes. All right? So, in 1983, I sat in your seat. I sat right there. This building wasn't here, but I sat there. And, for, and a couple days later, we ended up playing a football game down in our, our field here. And I, I all honestly, uh, honestly, I don't remember the game. I don't remember much about the game. I remember it was a cloudy, rainy day. I remember it was cloudy and rainy. The kind of, the kind of day that defensive linemen love, you know, that, that muddy kind of game where, you know, the offense is gonna fumble and not get a good traction. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, I was a defensive lineman. At five foot eight, uh, 145 pounds, I was a defensive lineman. All right? So I don't remember much about the game. I, know, I remember we lost. You know, I don't wanna talk about that, but I remember we lost. But what I do remember, what I took away from that game, is the friendships. Is the friendships. All right, so the, the guys and cheerleaders and girls, the, we played together every week. We were in the trenches together every week. We sacrificed every week. We gave up time with our families every week. Uh, we got money together every week. Um, we sweated. All that stuff. That's what I remember. Those friendships from all those people that I played this, this game with. To the point where 34 years later, the same person I flipped a coin with out on that field was the best man in my wedding. Right? 34 years later, he stood beside me down on that field, and he stood beside me when I when I asked my wife to be with me for the rest of our lives. So, um, but what I also took away from, from that time is the teamwork. The dedication, the hard work, the discipline that we as athletes have to give. And I took that to Springfield College, where I, I was lucky enough to get a, a scholarship to play football. Right, back then, so Springfield was a D2, so they gave scholarships. So I was lucky enough to get a scholarship to play there. And now, again, 5'9, 145 pounds playing college football, you know, wow. But it was all that that I learned here on this field, that I translated and trans brought to Springfield College so I could succeed there. And what became apparent to me at that time was success on the field was great, but success in the classroom was even more important. All right, so I, I buckled down, I got my grades up, I did well in the classroom to the point where, all right, by my senior year, my counselor was like, well, you know, your grades are good enough, you can go to grad school. And, being from Derby, I was like, I, I didn't know what grad school was. I didn't know what that meant. And they're like, no, you, you, can, you can continue on with your education. You can go to law school, med school, um, get an MBA, do whatever you want. You, got, you have those skills. So I ended up going to law school. Went down to Louisiana, spent some time in Louisiana and got my degree. And I was like, okay. But then I took all those skills that I learned on this field and I transitioned them after graduating from law school into a career. I decided that I wanted to be a sports agent. So I took all those skills, all those talents, all that discipline, all that hard work, and I started a sports agent. And ProStar Sports out of Colorado, we represented NFL athletes. 
Uh, one time we had 85 NFL athletes at, as part of our part of our organization. And then I went back to school. I took those skills again. I said, well, you know, this is fun. And I ended up going back to school. Went back to Columbia University in the city of New York. Yeah. So some guy from Park Avenue, Derby, Connecticut, got an opportunity to go to Columbia University, one of the best schools schools in the in the um, in the world. And it was all because of what I learned on the field here that I transitioned and brought to Columbia University. All that dedication, all that hard work, all that uh, desire, I brought to Columbia. And I did well at Columbia. I ended up graduating number one in my class from Columbia University. So I transitioned that afterwards into being a professor, what I do now. I said, well, now I want to take those skills and I want to start giving back to the students and the student athletes. So now I'm currently a professor at St. John's University in, the city in, in Queens, New York. So why I'm telling you this is because as athletes, you guys can do whatever you want. You guys can do, accomplish whatever you want to do. All right, because you have the skills and the building blocks and the foundations to accomplish anything. All right, you've done it. You've done it week in and week out. And you can continue to do it as your career goes forward. Okay? And that's pretty much what I wanted to say today. You have those skills, you have those building blocks to succeed in whatever you want to do. So I wish you the best. Uh, you're going to all do better than I ever could. So congratulations. I'm sorry there's not, there's not a game this year, but um, take what you've learned and move forward. Okay? Thank you.